Tonight, the jury deciding the fate of a North Miami police officer charged with attempted manslaughter has gone home for the night. Deliberations resume first thing in the morning. CBS 4's Amber Diaz is covering the trial. She's live at the Metro Justice Building in Miami with the latest. Amber. Good evening to you both. Yes, and today was only supposed to be for closing arguments, Elliot, but the state had a different idea. They decided to bring Charles Kinsey to the stand and ask him a few more questions before the final verdict. How you doing? I'm sorry I'm feeling well today. Uh, I didn't expect to see you here today either. An exhausted and apparently ill Charles Kinsey came face to face with Jonathan Aleda, a man who nearly killed him in a 2016 incident. The behavioral therapist was asked multiple questions before closing arguments. You said a prayer with your head laid down. Yes. Okay. Do you pray with your eyes open? Yes. No further questions. It was July of 2016 when police got a call about a possibly suicidal man who may have a gun. That man was Arnaldo Rios, Kinsey's 26-year-old patient with autism. Kinsey was trying to get him back to the facility during a game of hide and seek. The shiny object in his hand was a toy truck. Did he ever have anything else in his hand other than this one object? That's all he had in his hand. A lady defended himself in court yesterday, saying he believed Rios was holding his caretaker hostage. Cell phone video showed Kinsey lying on the ground with his hands in the air and Rios by his side. The police report says Kinsey yelled out to officers that his patient didn't have a gun. Prosecutors say Alea fired three times at Rios but missed and hit Kinsey in the thigh near his main artery. This was not just a mistake. In fact, this was a mistake in judgment. But the defense did not rest. They said Aleda is not a common criminal and was following his instincts as an officer on duty. We're talking about a chaotic situation. Jonathan Aleda did what he thought he had to do. And again, the jury is yet to make a final decision. They will continue deliberating at 9 in the morning. In Miami-Dade, Amber Diaz, CBS4 News, tonight.